This is crazy. Is this for real? <gasps> the full real burger. Welcome back to my kitchen. It's Pyro Kai here. Today we continue the series on date night for one, where I create exquisite dishes from my home kitchen. Um, why? Because I deserve it and you deserve it. So again, I am not a professional chef. So if I can deliver this, you can too. Now, last week I made a beautiful, beautiful plate of carbonara. So what are we doing today? I am craving a really badass burger. So while shopping for my beautiful ground beef, I came upon this package of foie gras. So I thought to myself, what if I can balance the flavor profile of these two? This has a hint of sweetness. This is beautifully savory. So that's what we're going to do today. Now the ingredients might be a little extravagant than normal burgers but it's just all about handling the dance in the kitchen, which is managing the time, knowing what takes longest and what takes shortest. And that's how we're gonna go according to cook this burger perfectly. Now, I'm gonna tell you this one thing. It really won't take more than 15 minutes and the longest thing that's gonna take to cook is the fries in my oven, which now I have probably 20 minutes left, okay? To make this burger, we're gonna need a brioche bun, six ounces of Wagyu ground beef, a beautiful slice of foie gras. Gruyere. To tie the foie gras and the burger together, we're gonna make a fig and shallot jam using black figs, shallots, balsamic vinegar, and a little bit of honey. To add a little spice to the burger, we got arugula. And of course, we can always use some butter, pepper, and salt. Oh, idiot, salt. <laughs> So we're gonna start with cooking the jam. I'm taking half of this gigantic shallot. Now you can make extra for later, but I'm only gonna make enough for this burger. The finer you can get your shallot, the quicker it caramelizes. Now these beauties. We're gonna take the firmer one, slice it resembling pickle and take the softer one and caramelize it with the shallot. I'm gonna take the top off. I'm gonna stabilize it, slicing it in half, just like that. Look at that beauty. Hold in place, slice, Boom. glide a knife. Mm. Sometimes food is just an illusion. And you just want to see things that makes you feel familiar. Like, this definitely doesn't taste like a pickle. But it's going to shape like one. And it's going to give you comfort when you see it on your burger. But prettier. I take the one that's a little riper. Gorgeous. Okay. Put it over here on the side. Okay, medium-high heat. Once it comes up to temperature, olive oil, drizzle, generous, swirl. Putting in the shallot first because the fig has sugar content, so it burns quickly. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, Pyrocat. Okay. okay, gently salt it. Once the fig hits there, the salt's gonna enhance the sweetness. Okay, I'm turning down the heat a little bit. Medium heat. 
figs. Smush it a little bit. Balsamic vinegar, douse it. So it's gonna burn out all the acidity and the sweetness. It's gonna hone inside of our jam, just like that. Okay, caramelized and beautiful. We're gonna add a little bit of honey. You see how it's becoming a jam? Right, okay. Before you ruin your pan, you're gonna scoop all of this up. Turn off the heat. All right, black fig and shallot jam. Delicious. Okay, the patty. Couldn't be easier to prepare. Take a plate, take a knife. Take a scale. I'm gonna put this piece of plastic on top of it. From this package, oof, yeah. Just gonna 6.5, 6.1, 6.0. Take this away. Take this. I'm just gonna smush it down, resembling a round shape. But look at this wagyu. It's so beautifully pink. It's very fatty, you can see the grease on my hand. Don't screw this up. Salt evenly. Pepper on the grill. You know why? Because pepper burns very easily. So we're just gonna season it a little bit, just like that. That's it, leave it alone, we're done. I'm taking our foie out. I'm gonna score it to create a pattern when it's seared, so it doesn't look like just a big brown piece of goop. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we have everything ready. <laughs> That's fine. That's my trusty block of butter, okay? Timing is the essence of the success of this burger. This is coming to heat. Let me explain the timing a little bit. This is gonna take about eight to nine minutes to cook. Meanwhile, the foie gras is only gonna take about one and a half minutes, 45 seconds on each side. So, after we flip our burger and we let the cheese melt, we're uh, searing the bun, we're gonna take it off the heat and then we're gonna use a trusty skillet. Heat it up, having scorching hot, like that, okay? Before we add the foie gras in, okay? Speaking of which, smoke's coming. Take this right on top of the bubbles. Let's go. Looking at your time, about four minutes, okay? We're gonna let it finish cooking with the heat of the skillet. Pull this over here. Just once again, to cook the foie gras, we need a scorching hot skillet. Another 45 seconds.
guys are you? I'm gonna name this burger the full real burger. Mm. Right, let me get ready to eat. Mm. Oh, okay. I'm not sure I'm ready for this. Um, should I just, should I cut into it? I'm sorry, I'm morning. No! Can you stay up here? Yes, good girl. Ooh, it's so juicy and perfect. Put it this way. Don't look like I have two burgers. Do you, do, do you see this perfectly cooked foie gras? Gotta show you. So perfect. Before this gets cold, let's have our first bite. Well, that's like, that's a lot of layer. I'm sorry. Oh, that fall just hit me. That fall girl just hit me in the throat. Okay, you know what? The best way to describe this is showing you guys this. Okay. We start with the brioche bun. It's soft and perfectly buttery. It's like perfectly charred. So it didn't get soggy when you put the patty on. It's perfect, you hear this? Really good bread. Then we have a bed of arugula, right? And it, it creates this little um, drip, dripping pan for the, for the patty to go down and seep through the, 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 the arugula before it hits the bun so it doesn't get soggy, right? Um, then we have our patty, perfectly cooked. Oh, just salivated thinking about it. And on top we have the, the cheese, the gruyere. It's, it's so sweet and creamy, but a hint of savory that comes at the end, right? And on top we have this Oh, look at this shallot and fig jam and on top of that we, we top a bed of arugula and then a bed of fresh black figs for the same reason to catch the dripping from the foie gras so look at this i mean every inch of this fig this beautiful beautiful fig is covered with the liver fat Look at the foie gras itself, melty center. I mean, it's just perfectly cooked. And on top of that, mm, I threw in a potato in there and it came out like this. When there's duck fat rendering, you do not waste it. You toss your fries in there and I believe this is gonna be the best bite of the whole burger, okay? I feel spoiled. <laughs> oh, I feel so spoiled. I can't, sorry, man, I, I can't even look at you guys to talk. I mean, this deserves all my attention. You know what, guys? I would pay good money to eat the same burger I just had here at home. I believe if I were to have this in a restaurant, it'll probably be like around 68 to $70 for a burger just like this. Um, that is the best burger experience I've ever had. I would surely hope that you would try to attempt this at home. Listen, it takes less time than to bake french fries, okay? Put in a little effort, find great ingredients for yourself, feed your body, feed your soul. You deserve this plate. 
oh my goodness, this is gonna be the best burger available to you, at least 50 miles radius. Plus, you get the pride that you cooked it yourself. Look at how happy I am. This, this is the food high. This is the food high. Anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And if there's any other sexy food you'd like to see me cook so that your date or your non-existing date or yourself would like to learn how to make, comment it down below. See you next week.